King Charles cuts off Prince Harry's £7 million inheritance. The British royal family has been the subject of intense media scrutiny for decades, with each new generation bringing its own share of drama and controversy. However, the latest development in the ongoing saga of Prince Harry and the House of Windsor has taken the world by storm, sparking outrage, sympathy, and heated debates across the globe. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. It was widely reported that upon his 40th birthday in September 2023, Prince Harry was set to inherit a substantial sum of £7 million from the estate of his great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. This inheritance was seen as a way for the late monarch to maintain a connection with her beloved grandson, even as the rift between Harry and the rest of the royal family continued to deepen. However, in a shocking turn of events, King Charles III, Harry's father and the current reigning monarch, has reportedly decided to cut off this inheritance, denying Harry access to the funds he was expected to receive. The reasons behind this decision are complex and multi-layered, reflecting the deep-seated tensions and power struggles within the British royal family. According to sources close to the palace, King Charles has been increasingly frustrated with his younger son's continued criticisms of the monarchy and his decision to step back from royal duties. The tell-all interview Harry and his wife, Meghan, gave to Oprah Winfrey in 2021, as well as the ongoing issues surrounding the couple's relationship with the rest of the family, have all taken a toll on the king's patience. Charles has made it clear that he views Harry's behavior as a betrayal of the family, says royal correspondent Emily Wilkinson. He sees the inheritance as a sort of reward or validation for Harry's actions, and he's simply not willing to provide that. The decision has sparked outrage among Harry's supporters who view it as a vindictive and punitive measure designed to punish the Duke of Sussex for daring to speak out against the institution he was once a part of. This is an absolutely shameful and petty move by the king, says royal commentator Samantha Markle. Harry is entitled to this inheritance, and Charles has no right to take it away from him simply because he doesn't like what Harry has said. It's a blatant abuse of power, and it's going to further damage the already fragile relationship between the two. Defenders of the king, however, argue that Harry's continued public criticisms of the monarchy have left Charles with little choice but to take a hard line. Harry has made it clear that he has no intention of reconciling with the royal family or of ever returning to his duties, says royal historian Thomas Cromwell. In that context, the king is perfectly within his rights to withhold this inheritance. It's a way of asserting his authority and sending a message that there are consequences for Harry's actions. The decision has also raised questions about the future of the monarchy and its ability to adapt to the changing times. Many have argued that the royal family's unwillingness to address Harry's concerns and accommodate his desire for a more modern, progressive approach has only served to alienate him further. The royal family needs to recognize that the world has changed and that the old ways of doing things simply don't work anymore, says political commentator Olivia Perry. By cutting off Harry's inheritance, they're not just punishing him, they're also sending a message to the younger generation that the monarchy is stuck in the past and unwilling to evolve. For his part, Harry has remained largely silent on the issue, with his representatives declining to comment. However, it's clear that the decision has deeply wounded the already fragile relationship between the Duke and the rest of the royal family. As the dust settles, the question remains. Where does the monarchy go from here? Will the king's decision to cut off Harry's inheritance only serve to further alienate the younger generation, or will it ultimately be seen as a necessary step in preserving the institution of the monarchy? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The drama surrounding the House of Windsor is far from over.